Oh, yeah, yo, you are going to buy so many chinchillas and foxes. FBI, open up! Well, time to show you my little friend. Well, that's one RimWorld I won't be coming back to this time. Thanks for the clean. Hello, everyone. Today, I would like to share some knowledge on all vanilla drugs in RimWorld. This is very important knowledge as drugs can be useful to gain temporary benefits of various sorts, like boosting your colonist's productivity, healing illnesses. Drugs can also be used to poison your enemies. Drugs can also lead to harmful addictions, negative side effects, and overdoses resulting in permanent ailments or death. So we need to be aware of the usage. We will talk about five important things on how to use vanilla RimWorld drugs and also with some modded drugs. Number one is getting to know each of the drugs. Second is avoiding and managing drugs and addiction. Third is rehab center and recovery. Fourth is drug production. And the last one, number five, is drug trading. Let's not waste any time and roll the intro. All right. First of all, let's get to know each of the drugs. They are split into three categories, hard, social, and medical. Under hard is go juice, flake, wake up, and yayo. Under social is ambrosia, beer, smoke leaf, and psychite tea. And under medical is luciferium and pinoxicillin. Although drugs can be useful for your colony, be mindful that most of the drugs are addictive. Let us go through them one by one in random order. Beer. You need one wart to make one bottle of beer. Beer is produced in three steps. Step one is planting hops, which is an easy task. And and then build a brewery. This step requires research. The last step is to process 25 hops for 5 units of wort, a task that requires a cook to perform the action, another easy task. And also, beer is addictive. Yes, it is. Moving on to the next one, who doesn't know about Yayo? Huh? Well, Yayo is a fine white powder snorted to produce a euphoric height. Yayo reduces the user's need for rest and suppresses pain. It is a drug that can be manufactured at a drug lab using 8 cycloid leaves. Yayo is a stimulant pleasure drug, and it is also addictive. Stop playing with flake, a flaky substance that can be smoked to induce a short but powerful euphoric state. Flake provides an incredible plus 35 move buff while it remains in the user's system. It is a cheaper and less powerful version of Yayo but has a significantly higher addiction rate which makes using this drug somewhat impractical. Flake can be manufactured at a drug lab using four psychoid leaves. Flake is a cheap, short, high, and very addictive. Wake up can improve work performance. Your colonists will keep waking up and work more. And once again, yep, it's also addictive. Smoke leaf will improve mood but worse in capacities, making your colonists hungry all the time and it is slowing their movement. Smoke leaf is addictive. Goat juice is a drug that can be purchased, found on raiders, or manufactured at a drug lab. All you need are two Nutramine and one Yayo. Goat juice acts as a potent stimulant and painkiller. It has a significant performance impact on combat and as it improves the mobility speed along with the enhancement of your colonists' sight and consciousness which are vital for shooting accuracy. Goat juice is able to boost speed and fighting capacity tremendously but it is addictive. Luciferium, glitter world mechanites that give huge bonuses to most capacities. However, without repeated doses, the user goes insane and dies. It is impossible to clear the addiction and the drug is 100% addictive after one dose. The effects of drugs are modulated by body size. For example, smaller creatures need less beer to be drunk than bigger animals such as a thrombo. And here, the drugs that have a lower addiction rate, some people say they are not drugs but medicine. Benoxicillin, the medical drug, fully blocks various infections such as malaria, sleeping sickness, and plague. Penicillin can either be crafted at a drug lab or purchased from traders. You need to have penicillin production research. Each penicillin pill requires two nutrients. Psychite tea is a fragrant tea infused with leaves of the psychoid plant. It is made with a fueled stove or electric stove using four psychoid leaves to produce it. A minimum of two cooking skill are required and you should research psychoid brewing first. This is romantic. Ambrosia is a food stuff that is only obtainable through the ambrosia sprout event or by trading. It is also somewhat rare to get an ambrosia addiction, as each fruit only has a 1% chance to give one. Don't worry too much with the addiction. Managing the drugs and its consumption for your colony is part of the fun. So let's move on to our second topic, avoiding and managing drugs and addiction. There is an option of completely avoiding drugs in your colony. You have the option to burn them at the campfire or crematorium or forbid the drug on your colony system and sell them to a trader, which is lucrative on the market. Just be aware that addicted pawns will take drugs anyway, even if they are forbidden. Drugs can be assigned for regular taking 
through the drug policy system. Similar to outfits, drug policies are an assigned schedule for taking drugs. You can set any number of drugs, each with a frequency. For example, you can assign a colonist to drink two beers every day and take one penicillin every five days. You can also toggle to use the drug to feed an addiction separately from joy usage. Tolerance value is the value related to addiction upon consumption of any drugs. It has a fixed buildup amount for each drug and decreases each day afterwards. Colonists will have a chance of getting addicted once they cross a certain tolerance threshold. Safe consumption of drugs can be set in the restriction tab for drug usage. Anyone need a prescription? Anyone? When tolerant, the severity given per dose of the drug will decrease by a fixed amount. That means they will last less time and colonists will need to consume more of them. Addiction also has the same effect. In addition to requiring the pawn to get a regular dose of the drug to prevent withdrawal. I love you. You, you love me? I love me. <laughs> All drugs are very dangerous for animals, especially small animals like puppies, etc. So make sure your animals are zone restricted from access to wherever your drugs are kept. Colonists can't take drugs they can't reach. A drug binging colonists without access to that drug will only wander around until their senses are restored. Other withdrawal based mental breaks are another story. One alternative to keeping drugs out of the hands of addicts is to place the drugs in a room and board up the entrance. This could also be done to the addicts by trapping them, but they will become counterproductive once they become hungry. Another alternative, which may be quicker depending on the case, is to load the drugs in a transport pod and keep them there until the binge is over. How about transporting addict pawns to Pluto instead? Since it's not easy to fight addictions, it's time we talked about point number three, rehab centers and recovery. Instead of keeping drugs from the addict, you can keep the addict away from the drugs by imprisoning them until they are clean. Imprisoning them can give impacts to their mental breaks. It may be best to wait until the pawn collapses due to exhaustion or starvation, then arrest them without the possibility of a physical intervention. If it must be done while they can stand, then it is wise to disarm this colonist before attempting to arrest them as they may resist and go berserk. This also works great for addicted prisoners as they're already in prison. It is recommended to keep them in their own cell though, otherwise they can go berserk and attack other prisoners. If you want to recruit such an addict, it's recommended to get them clean before recruiting. There's no use in releasing an addicted new recruit, only to throw them right back in their cell very, very soon. You can avoid the berserk state of a drug rehab inmate by removing his or her two legs. That way, they will lay on their bed until the drug withdrawal completes. Just replace the pawn's leg with peg legs and then remove the peg legs. Once recovered, you can install two bionic legs, keep an eye on your technological level, and make sure you have bionic legs at your disposal. During this time, you may want to give your colonist more time to enjoy himself. Giving him social drugs may help depending on the situation, but remember never to feed his addiction, as this resets the withdrawal countdown, unless he's addicted to multiple drugs at the same time, in which it may be easier to deal with one addiction at a time. The health overview tab displays a counter with withdrawal percentage. The higher it gets, the closer to complete recovery. There is a good mod that helps you with managing your colonist addiction. It's the auto injectors mod. This mod has an implant which automatically applies a dose of a given drug once a certain threshold is met. For example, if you create a flake IV auto injector and equip a pawn with it, the moment that pawn's mood drops below the extreme break threshold, the implant will automatically apply a dose of flake and remove itself. Here is what you need to do. First, you research drug extraction, a simple prerequisite for the mod. Then you research specific drug categories to make extract shrooms. The extracts are unusable crafting items which are used to craft the auto injection. Then you research IV auto injection and then craft the implants. By the way, did you subscribe to my channel? It's pretty easy. You don't need any drugs to do it, but if you click that subscribe button, you might get high. Now we come to number four. It's a drug production. We should know how each of them is being produced. Knowing each of the drug production is part of an important phase in battling addiction, balancing productivity, yet also to raise some income for your colony. One good thing about drug is that they are very skill independent, only require a bare minimum of growing skill, and only depend on the amount of farmland you can devote to it. If you have a year-round growing, it's really easy to just set up large plots of land for drugs. Comparing the production costs or business with art or furniture, drugs are better. Drugs are produced in various ways, typically at the new drug lab building from various precursor chemicals and growable crops. For productivity, here's some mods you can install. Simple Bulk Drugs mod is a good to add bulk drug production recipes, produce wake-up, medicine, or other drugs in bulk to save time when crafting and carrying ingredients. You can use ETRT, Medicine Production Mod, to add research projects for Nutrimine, Luciferium, and Glitter World Medicine Crafting. And to Farms Nutrileaf, as the main ingredient of Nutrimine, you can install the Farmable Nutrimine Mod and plant as many Nutrileaf as you want. You can also use Vegetable Garden Mod to produce more ambrosia with other useful vegetables and fruits. I hope those drugs will not overwhelm you. If you feel dizzy, you can go grab your aspirin. But before that, if you have any comments or requests or questions, please do not hesitate to write them in the comment section 
section down below. Now, go grab your ass. Okay, that's enough with drug production. Now let's sell the drug. Drugs are simply the most effective early mid-game money maker that your colony can produce. It requires much lower devotion of time and skills and other money-making plans. I wouldn't really mess with Nutramine-based drugs for income since I can't produce it myself, but you can get a nice profit from crafting Nutramine into drugs. Flake sold particularly well for the amount of time resources vested. It typically outsold most crafted goods simply because it was reliable. The only balance issues I see are that Flake and Smokeleaf are probably relatively cheap to produce compared to others. Increasing minimum resources required for both or aligning the prices to their base components might be the best balance. There's also the weight system. Drugs in general are pretty weightless due to how much you can make in bulk, while clothing, power armor, and weapons are extremely heavy to move and more often than not require pack animals. In fact, the only problem with selling drugs is not having enough space to carry the profit back to your colony. Any efforts you pawns with Smokeleaf will be profitable. Use Smokeleaf Industry Reborn mod. A Smokeleaf Industry Reborn is a mod that adds various new drugs, foods, medicines, building materials, and more, all based around Smokeleaf cultivation and processing. Okay, folks, that is all about the drugs. Please do not hesitate to write or comment down below. Request in the comment section. Thank you. Click another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Do subscribe and join our Discord.